Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is a Weller WE1010 soldering station. This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. So if you saw the video last week, you see that uh, Element 14 has sent me uh, this Weller soldering station uh, to sort of complement my setup here. And uh, well, you know, it, nothing is really yours until you tear it apart and you see how it works. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, so we're gonna open her up uh, and see what exactly makes this thing tick. So let's see, let's start out, I believe this is a number one crosshead right here on the back. And it seems to be, okay. It's very simple here on the back, couple of screws holding the case on. And we should be able to lift this right off if, unless there are some screws hiding, say, and that's not a screw. Let's see if they're under the feet. Don't see anything there. Doesn't look like it. I think I just need to, oh, there we go. There we go, it's coming. It's coming. Let's see, how does this work? that simple, is it? I don't see anything else holding it in. I don't feel anything else holding it in. I think it's just a clip back here, but I can't be completely certain. Ah, let's get my jimmy. There we go. There we go. I just had to pop that. There it is. I just had to pop these clips out. That's all. There we go. Now there is another clip here holding the front on. There we go. That just holds it in place. So this did break. Interesting. This broke. Where did this break from? Ooh, that's what it broke from. It broke from here. Both of them broke. Fantastic. Wonderful. So I have now broken this. So it is definitely mine now. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how it goes. Well, that's okay. Well, that is okay. We will just deal with it. Okay, so here you see inside. Um, so soldering iron is pretty simple uh, design, a pretty simple kind of uh, device. So really what we have here is um, a really big transformer, uh, and then that runs out he here through this board heat sink on it. So we take AC coming in from here. Here's our chassis ground. Um, big old heat sink on there. April 2008, 2018? Yeah, April 2018 is when this was manufactured. Uh, let's see. So I don't think there's going to be anything below that. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything below that. So I don't really want to take that off. That's really just the transformer sitting there in a big old heat sink. Um, so power comes in here, goes through the primary coil of the transformer, the secondary coil of the transformer, and it looks like... Oh, this is our power switch right here. That's what this, that's what this is. 
so then this would be the secondary out on this side. And then that goes in here through this Molex. Three pin Molex right there. And then let's see what's on the other side of this board, shall we? Ooh, looks like we have some, what are those? What are you guys, little stars? Little pentalobes. Uh, let's see. I uh, got something for you. It's too big, of course. Of course it's too big. They're designed not to be taken apart, like everything else. Um, so, of course, this is uncharted territory right here. At least it's not not uh, prolifically charted territory. Okay, and then there's one big crosshead screw right there. see the main board here. So, let's take a look here. Uh, That's a little 3022 there. See 3022. Uh, IC, a handful of resistors. Filtering capacitor right here. Capacitor five six eight eight one nine. Looks like a MOSFET. And then of course our big MOSFET right here. This is a okay. So it's either a BTA twelve or a GK 3 M figure out which one's right and I'll put the uh, put whatever kind of information I can find up on the screen then of course you got your LCD module uh, I'm not going to take that apart a it's soldered in and B I just don't want to break it anymore this is gonna be your MOSFET controlling your, um, your power out to here uh, which goes into the wand makes it hot uh, let's see, this is, I'm going to have traces here, so part of this goes over here, so it goes over here, and back into here, okay, that's control, and filter. are all test points. Um, X5. There was a spot right here for something else. Hmm. Must be for the, uh, like an upgraded board or something like that. This is five. I wonder if this is for either programming. This might be the serial port for programming. Most likely it's for programming, I, I would assume, you know, five, um, five ports in line like that. That's, that's pretty indicative of a USB. Um, WB75D underscore bot? I don't know. Okay, 
like so. Tyler and error 587700010. Software WX7.X uh, 1828 or 2818. Team precision tested by F06. Okay. else of note that might be interesting uh, a couple of pads here not sure what those would be for oh oh these are for the buttons duh it's like hum look at it and you will figure it out you'll figure out what they're for so abs plastic on the inside abs right there this is also ABS. Okay, it just feels different. It doesn't feel like ABS. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a Weller T0058770 something, something, something. I don't want to pull. That's really on there. I don't want to pull that up. I don't want to mess that up. Um, that's just our big 20. Let's see. 80 hertz transformer. I don't see anything else that's really terribly interesting on the board. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, nice construction, glorious, uh, beautiful construction here. Uh, just have to, have to get that tightened back down. A little bit. This is just a heat sink for that MOSFET. Of course. There you go. Okay. Just holds that on there. Yeah, it's a nice little board. Uh, we'll start working with this thing, see how it goes, see how she chooches, and you'll get more updates as they come along. Meanwhile, social media is over here subscribe down here uh here is either the rest of the playlist or maybe a video that youtube thinks you'll enjoy and down here is newsletter sign up today get a free gift let you know everything that's going on here around the shop in the meantime my name is atari and until next time tally ho y'all